<laughs> yeah, I was wrapping up everything because yeah. in um in August I took a I took a nasty DD like tornado DDT and I passed out during the match. I woke up. I was like, where am I? I don't know what's going on. And then I hear the crowd. I'm like, oh, I'm in a tag match. I try to get up right side of my body. Can't feel it. So I'm like rolling around like a turtle, pick myself up. And immediately my public tells her something was wrong. He was like, just stay down. I'm like on one leg hobbling to finish this match. Worst clotheslines I've ever taken. And then, then finished, like, I took an enziguri, but the bastard he threw him wore, was wearing Doc Martens. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I get to the back, can't feel none, drive myself to the ED, they keep me overnight. You know, they're doing all their tests and all that. They were like, your skull's cracked in the back, concussion, um, you can't feel the right side of your body. And they said, even if you do get strength in the back, it's not going to be the same like what it used to be and memory problems so like from like i think it was like august the rest of that year i was wrestling barely any feeling in the right side of my body because mm -hmm. yeah. i did because i wanted to like you know and regularly with at least two promotions i think right yeah yeah i was and because like i wanted to i wanted to finish like i didn't want to leave no one on like a low note of you know i can't finish but no one knew that i was like legitly still trying to get the feeling in the right side of my body. Yeah. But then um, about as soon as I was done, you know, then I really hit the rehab. The memory's getting better. I could feel the right side of my body. There might be moments where I'll, for, I'll legitimately forget or if someone tells me something, I forget. Or, like, I'll drop – I have a tendency to drop stuff out of my right hand. Yeah. But, you know, it's getting better as the days go by. And, you know, just taking a step at a time. It's good. I mean, that's that's definitely a point when, like, when you told me like the stuff that was really going on with you, like, I, I was just like, D dude, get better, like, you know. And I know, you know, we had conversation. I I forget if it was on the show or not, but like, you know, you're talking about like, you you were kind of just putting wrestling out of the way, yeah, to 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 work on yourself for a bit, you know. So, um, yeah, and that's and it happens. It's unfortunate, you know. It, it, one bad move, right? So. Yeah, it's, and it's, and like I don't I don't blame the person who, who it happened with me with because like, the I noticed one thing, the injuries and 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 wrestling happen, freak accident like the simplest move, mm -hmm. can like lead to the worst damage, but yet the craziest Looney Tune four fifty, <laughs> on like off of the ceiling you'll be perfectly fine yeah. Yeah. I, well, we saw somebody that looked like they were just like throwing a punch and their knee went out a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was it was scary. You know, it was like the simplest thing. It's not somebody that does a lot of crazy stuff. Right. Uh, you know, it, it, it's 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 just it's wild how that happens. So but uh, no, good to see that you're getting healthy and I've been enjoying the TikTok. 